Hi, I'm Jim Langevin. Rhode Island is my home. I love this state and I love the people who live here. That's why it's been the privilege of a lifetime to represent you as a state representative, as Secretary of State, and as your Congressman. Now I know these last several years have been particularly difficult for Rhode Island families, but we've been in this fight together, just like we always have. Nearly 40 years ago, a tragic accident left me paralyzed. My dreams of becoming a police officer, serving in law enforcement were crushed, and I was forced to relearn how to perform almost every daily task and dream new dreams. Yet, during my hour of need, Rhode Islanders rallied behind me, and I was inspired to give back to the community that had given me so much. Encouraged by my family's unending love and support, and my faith, that 16-year-old from Warwick became the first quadriplegic ever elected to the United States Congress. Like I promised when I first ran for office, I've done my best to stand up for you and your families. But after serving the people of Rhode Island for over 36 years, including 11 terms and nearly 22 years in Congress, today I'm announcing that I will not be a candidate for elective office this November. I'm so proud of all that we've been able to accomplish together. I have led the efforts in Congress to strengthen our cybersecurity and prepare our nation for the threats of the 21st century. I've worked tirelessly to protect and advance the rights of Americans with disabilities, and I've worked across the aisle to invest in job training, apprenticeships, and career and technical education. And I've fought to defend our national security, advocate for our shipbuilders who make our nation submarines right here in Rhode Island, and most importantly, ensure that our men and women in uniform never enter a fair fight. Then when our brave warfighters return home, I've worked to ensure that we fulfill our promises to our veterans by providing the benefits that they've earned, as well as providing support for mental health services, improving the VA system, and working to end veterans homelessness once and for all. And I'll always be most proud of my vote for President Obama's Affordable Care Act, which lowered healthcare costs and secured coverage for millions of uninsured Americans it's the most significant piece of legislation that I've ever supported. Now I've not come to this decision lightly, but it's time. Time for me to chart a new course, which I hope will keep me closer to home and allow me to spend more time with family and friends. As I turn the page on this chapter, I do so with the full confidence of the next generation of leaders here in the second district. And while I don't know what's next for me just yet, Whatever I do will always be in service of you, Rhode Island. Finally, I want to thank the dozens of dedicated staff members who have served in my office over the years, as well as my friends and my entire family, especially my mom, my brothers, and my sister, for standing by my side every step of this journey. I am so grateful to each of you. But most of all, I want to thank the people of Rhode Island for putting your faith and trust in me to be your voice all these years. I will cherish the time that I was blessed to serve you. Thank you, Rhode Island.